Oh my word! You killed him! That's right! And unless any of you make fun of me and my claw again, you'll meet the same fate as poor Anthony right here. And if any of you breathe a word to the controller of what really happened here, you'll feel the wrath of my claw. And so it was done. The steamies kept their mouths shut from then onwards. When the controller came, I told him that my claw malfunctioned, and so he sent me off to the works. While there, the workmen examined me thoroughly, but found nothing wrong with me, and so I was discharged the next day. But when I made it out of the works, I got a real surprise of what awaited me. There, standing outside of the workshops, were lots and lots of diesels, more than I had ever seen in my entire life. Uh, can I help you? Is it true? Did you actually kill a steam engine? Ah, you've heard about that. Well, I'm pleased to say yes, it is true. And I did it out of pure rage. That Simi really got on my nerves. He's got on all of our nerves, and we are certainly glad that you killed him. Oh, by the way, my name is Stefan. I'm sort of the leader of this little group, but after hearing of your performance, we figured that you should lead us. Yeah, what you did, you were like 10 out of 10 for devious deeds and brute strength. You're like the blast from the past who ate steam engines. Hmm. I like that, and might catch on one day. And we also decided that you should be like our supreme leader. In fact, supreme leader of all diesels on British railways. Hmm. Supreme leader of the diesels. I like the sound of that. Then it is decided. All hail our new supreme leader. Um, what is your name? It was at that moment I stopped being called Cedric the Warship. From now on, I was known as Diesel Tan! All hail Diesel Tan! 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 Hail Diesel Tan!